So Emily and Suzanne are going to again show you and talk through a process. How do I keep this alive? Joe showed you that the spreadsheet continues to move to the right. So once you place a student in tier two or tier three, how do you keep that alive and go back and answer those questions of, is the child making progress? How do I know? What's my data say? What's my next step? Are we releasing him? Are we celebrating and releasing? Or are we gonna have to increase? So this PLC suggested practice for you to consider in your school would be a support system for you to keep this alive. And you'll see you've got highlighters. So very similar to how we did the PLCs for our quality instruction and also our RTI PLCs, we're gonna do two reads. Our first read is just gonna be independently. So if you can just take three minutes to read through this on your own. Okay, and you're just going to mark what do you feel like your school is already proficient on and have a structure in place. Highlight those. You're going to compare notes of things that you highlighted that you felt were already in place. Okay, so go ahead and you're going to, you know, discuss that. And then you're going to highlight. You should have two different colors at your table, so grab the other color highlighter. And this time you're highlighting out of these suggested practices. Which would be your next step? Which, would the, which of these practices do you want to carry over into your building as we begin to move forward with this? Okay. So you've got three minutes to go ahead as a team and discuss this. As an RTI team, one of the things that you will need to do initially is to um, set up the members of your team. And so, you know, thinking about who would be involved in this RTI process as a team would definitely be an admin. Um, counselors would be involved, teachers would be involved, and any other personnel that you would see that needs to be involved. An interventionist, possibly. Um, so that would be your RTI team that would participate in this process and that would come back on a frequent basis to discuss the data to determine if they are making progress, then what's your next step? Do you continue this course? Do you uh, take some of the supports away? If they're not making progress, then do you increase supports? Do you move into another tier? So that's, that would be the, um, the process and the team members involved. So also just kind of looking up at the top, um, thinking about um, just that ongoing conversation about not only the interventions, but bringing the data to the table and bringing that data on a frequent basis to look at that, determining next steps and working together as that, as that RTI team. So, um, so as we move on, um, you've gone through, you've looked at your areas that you are um, really doing well. You're also, you've also looked at areas that you might need to um, implement from this suggested best practice. The next thing that we would like you to do as a school team is each table has post-it notes on them. So if you would use a post-it note and then just start to identify um, what supports you feel like you would need, what assistance you might need, in order to take these next steps into um, next school year and really to put this process into place, a firm process in your school. So thinking about your, your individual school needs and where you want to go from here with this RTI PLC process. And when you're thinking about resources that you need for these, to put these supports in place, think about resources as far as what structure. You know, we had some great questions of, how often is this happening with my PLCs? You know, what structures are you putting in place to make sure that these RTI PLCs are occurring and that all team members are at the table? Okay, um, structures, what support do you need? Um, what tools do you need? So really think about resources that you need to help move this forward. The ideas that you wrote on your post-it notes, if you hang on to those and then as, the sum, as, as you work through the summer, go back and review this process, review what you have, and then bring it back in August and then we will continue to work through this process so that hopefully those issues, those questions will be answered at that time.